Published 2148 Eastern Daylight Saving Time, the 9th of July 2018. Updated 2148 Eastern Daylight Saving Time, the 9th of July 2018. Jeremy Renner has joined Jamie Foxx in the cast of Spawn. The 47-year-old has been lined up to play Detective Twitch Williams from the classic 90s comic Deadline reported. Fox meanwhile is set to play the titular marine turned hellsport comic credits Jeremy Renner has joined Jamie Foxx in the cast of Spawn the film is being directed by the comics creator Todd McFarlane his first time helming as a first time director I wanted to surround myself with the most talent and the most skilled people I can on all fronts McFarlane told Deadline I was lucky enough to land producer Jason Blum and then Jamie Foxx and I knew the person on screen the most is this police officer Twitch Williams we needed as strong a person as possible because he will be the face of the film. I took my naive Hollywood approach again and said let's start at the top and work down. Jeremy was at the top. I'm a huge fan of his cop. The 47-year-old has been lined up to play Detective Twitch. Williams from the classic 90s comic Deadline reported Hay added that the actor didn't need to be a bodybuilder or GQ handsome. I was looking for somebody who's a person you've met before. I needed someone who can pull off the grief of an average human being. I've seen Jeremy do that in more than a few of his movies. He was at the top of my list just like Jamie, the comic, first published in 1992, tells the story of Al Simmons, a marine turned black ops who is betrayed by his best friend and blown up and is sent to hell. Antiho Fox meanwhile is set to play the titular marine turned hellspawn there he is betrayed once again by a demon who offers him the chance to see his wife in return for his soul, but is returned five years late after she has remarried, while he is forced to remain a demonic hellspawn. Spawn is King Arthur and twitches Sir Lancelot, and this isn't about physicality, or jumping over buildings. McFarlane continued, this is more a brawn and brain combination, and the first film I think of with him is The Hurt Locker, the army grunt doing the job and that spilled out into all these roles leading up to Wind River Squad. Creator Todd McFarlane with Jamie and the film's producer Jason Blum popular, the comic, first published in 1992, tells the story of Al Simmons, a marine turned black ops who is betrayed by his best friend and blown up and is sent to hell. There was a sense of melancholy to that character that is important and that was a movie also made by a first time director, but one who wrote the thing and so wasn't nervous about trying to get what you want, he added. Jeremy had the experience of working with the first timer and saw that if you put a good crew together the whole is way better than the parts and you don't have to worry. Fox revealed back in May that he had met McFarlane years ago with a proposal to play the anti her Fox and Renner have never worked together before, although they both have comic book experience in separate Marvel universes. ZOXX played villain Electro in The Amazing Spider-Man 2, while Renner plays Hawkeye in Disney's Avengers films Michael Jai White was the last person to play Spawn in 1997, where he took on John Leguizamo as the Violator. Last version, Michael J. White was the last person to play Spawn in 1997, where he took on John Leguizamo as the Violator bad guy. Jamie's last comic book role was as Electro in The Amazing Spider-Man 2.